Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm on my way to my birthday lunch that's in Ikoi. It's one mission star restaurant. Everyone in the video here, if you use this channel and this channel in the future, share some of the things that I used to change my lifestyle in the past several years. I feel a healthy routine, I go to the gym and buy reading books. And occasionally I share some of the things that happen in my life. Like today I'm a, at a new restaurant in London, I'm trying to explore a lot more in London. I think it's a fusion kind of restaurant. They combine the spice from West African and they use a lot of ingredients from the UK. Where's the world? 50 best restaurants they have ranked in Nicoya as number 87 out of the best 100 in the world this year. Wanted to try this restaurant a long time ago, even before I moved to London. So I booked this restaurant a month ago. I think it's my first experience of eating at the fine dining restaurant by myself. It's um, for my birthday, and I'm going to try out this tasting menu. People always say that it's sad to eat alone, but I don't know. I think it might be more fun than most people think because travel alone is also a very popular concept these days. Why not just eat alone? But I guess a lot of the fun times happening when you're having a good meal is actually the conversation with your friends that I couldn't really recreate by eating alone. But I'm just trying to record this memory for myself and for the people who are watching this channel that in the future we can watch back. Let's see how it goes. Alright, madam. So, to start with the tasting menu, right in front of you, you have having a plantain. It's being caramelized in ginger and kelp oil. You have it with the Mexican marigold or easy linen as black meat at the very top. And on the side, it's a plant or is a jump. So, it's like a fish. That's plantain. 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 It is not a fish, but like a plantain. Banana. Yes, all right, <laughs> you're right. Here on the side, yes, you're having a fish. It's an online cup mackerel with a cheese olive, wasabina, but for emulsion, and you have all on a fermented rice packet. This is my first dish. I think this is a, something like a banana. I think they said it's plantain. It's a very interesting taste. The plantain is supposed to be sweet. The sauce on top is very special. And there's something on the side. It's a refreshing kind of taste to balance out the plantain. Almost like a small pop up. The fish on top. And then there's this recipe at the bottom. I didn't expect that there's some spice in it. When you eat it all in one bite, you can see the freshness of the fish. The rice pepper is a little bit crispy, and then in the middle, I didn't expect the spice at all. And it's a little bit spicy than I thought, but it's very good. It's like waking up and reminds you it's, it's time for lunch. Hello, I'm Marcel Le Mojou. I grilled squash and some fresh green. What's this? It's the this bottom. is a squash. What, what kind of flavor can you have? Well, the vanilla. Motion is going to give like a bit of sweetness to it, whereas the squash is going to give it a vegetal, nice warmth, and then the fish is going to be quite meaty. So it's going to give it, and the skin is just uh, lightly kissed on the grill. It's going to give it a little bit of that charm, but at the same time, it's going to be a nice saltiness. Squash in the bottom, then the sea bass on top. Each dish has a lot of different flavors. That's true. Too. The sea bass is very fresh. I like the way they do it. It's still quite chewy, but it's very tender as well. They mentioned that there's some vanilla flavor in the squash. I would say that it's very juicy, it's sweet, it's very good with the fish. It feels like every dish has some surprise in it. Serving, we have dry aged limousine rib. It's been dry aged for three months with a yeasted bernese, maitake mushroom, and baby kale salad. Here we have smoked jollof rice, grab custard, and sisito peppers. My main dish is just the beef. It has been dry aged for three months, and then smoked rice with pepper. It smells super good. You can smell the smokiness and the spice on the tip of the beef. Here we go, we have the same knife that all the restaurants are using. It's very confusing to always use this side, the street side, as the right knife right to use. 
beef is super good. It has more flavor, like more layers of the, the beef in other restaurants. I think I guess they just play around with this layer a lot. And it's still very tender. This is the smoky part. You first sense the smoky part, then you bite into the juiciness of the beef. So it's quite a nice. The rice has a very special flavor. I think it's a very interesting dish that it plays around with different type of texture and the different type of flavors. Thank you. Thank you. This is so cute. <laughs> so for dessert, we have pistachio and muscat grape ice cream, grains of peas cookie, and hibiscus glaze. And here we have grains of paradise jelly. <laughs> the nutmeg taste can also have some pretty taste, cute birthday candle. It's jelly. Yeah. Restaurant really gave a lot of special taste. In each of the dishes, you will have some surprise when you taste them. They have so many different flavors and the texture is so good. So maybe next time I come back for dinner and if I have some, my friends with lunch by myself, it's actually not so bad. As long as I'm taken care of by the nice people in Japan, that's great. And see you next time.